Hello, I am Daniels. Thank you for watching this video. Today we are going to talk about how to use the if uh, clause, uh, if um, conditional sentences. Okay. Now there are many if conditional sentences structures, uh, and it gets pretty complicated. Okay, if you talk about all of them at the same time, so it's good to talk about just the most uh, foundational, the basic one, okay? The basic one that everybody starts out with. Um, this is the one that uh, little children, if you grow up in um, an English speaking country, this is the one that uh, uh, children learn first, okay? Uh, because they are often given these conditions by their parents, right? Okay, so let's talk about the if um, conditional uh, sentence. Okay, so basically, you start with if, and then, and this is the most important part. It doesn't matter. I mean, there are many kinds of ifs. But the one that we're talking about right now is the first kind, right? It is the first kind of if, all right? So I'm going to just be a little bit funny, and I want to do, I don't know, maybe some other subject does this, right? Where it means that it is the first kind of if, okay? Now that is not a math thing, so... It is the first kind of if, okay? It isn't the second kind or the third kind because it does get pretty complicated. But right now, we're just going to talk about the first kind of if, okay? It is the kind of if. So what is the first kind of if? I guess we should talk about it a little bit. The first kind of if is a possible if, a real possible if where if I do something, then something else uh, will happen or something else can happen all right so if this condition is true okay if you do something and then another thing will happen because you have done that okay that is the kind of if that we're talking about uh what am i saying well we are not saying we are not talking about if i were a bird that kind of if because that's not possible we're not talking about that kind of if okay right we're not talking about if i uh you know went to the moon well i didn't go to the moon and i probably will never go to the moon we're not talking about that okay we're not talking about that kind of if just to make it clear from the beginning we are talking about the if that is really possible and if you do the first condition then a different result will happen okay not a different result then a result will happen and if you don't do the first condition then a different result will happen right okay so that is the kind of if that we are talking about okay all right so the first thing, let's talk about the mechanics. The first thing is, you see this, the if clause, the conditional clause, it's always in the present tense, okay? It's always in the present tense. What does that mean, okay? It cannot be bought. This is past tense. It cannot be, we'll see, that is future. It cannot be um, is working. Okay, no. It can only be things that is everyday time, present tense, like go and, you know, eat and meet or, you know, keep. Oops right but that also means that you have to be careful 
because you have to add the s if the subject is a third person singular, right? So if Daniel goes, oops, goes to McDonald's, right? Remember that third person singular s has to be uh, represented in a sentence, okay? So that is the first condition. Remember, it is always in the present tense, okay? Always present tense, okay? So after you remember that, to always use the present tense in the first, in the um, conditional clause, then the main clause, there are basically three uh, variations, three possibilities, okay? Uh, there are more, but let's just talk about these three, okay? The first one is, well, you can use the, uh, the auxiliary can, okay? You can say the verb can to finish your sentence, right? So the second part of the sentence can use the uh, verb can, all right? Got it? So, you know, uh, you can uh, eat candy. Um, Mary can go out with her friends, or my mother can drink coffee, so on and so forth. Okay. I should copy this very, very cute comma to show that. Okay, good. Another possibility for the main clause after the if clause, right, is you can say the word, uh, use the auxiliary will, as in somebody will do something, right? And when you say will, then you're really talking about the future, right? Yes. So, you know, for example, if I said, if you help me, if you help me, I will give you a cookie tomorrow, right? Yes. So this will really brings the action, brings this action to the future, okay? I will do something, okay? And the third variation is you can just use the verb itself. In other words, you can use a command, a command, a qi right? You can command somebody to do something or don't do something, all right? Yes? So you can, your mother tells you, if I am not home, lock the doors, lock the doors, right? If I'm not home, don't open the door for anyone. Those are commands, okay? So that is uh, another way that you can uh, uh, say the main clause, okay? All right, so that's enough of that. Let's go to the actual, uh, actual examples so we can know what we're talking about, okay? Let's see, look at the first example. If it rains tomorrow, I will stay at home. If it rains tomorrow, I will stay at home, okay? All right, so uh, that's pretty straightforward because we are talking about tomorrow. I don't have to use this word. I don't have to use it. I can say, if it rains, I will stay at home, okay? So that tomorrow is just a, a time word that we put in, okay? We can put it in later, okay? Or we can put it in now, right? It doesn't matter, okay? So um, we can probably just uh, deal with it later, and then we can decide where to put it, okay? But one uh, thing, I want to say as an aside here is that um, remember, okay, remember the subject, it. When we talk about the weather, 
we use the subject it. If it rains, if it snows, if it um, is hot, if it is cold, right? We use the word it to talk about weather. Okay, just remember that. Okay, so here it is. If it rains, I will stay at home. Notice there is a comma, just like in the conjunction, uh, although conjunction video, there is a comma, there is a comma here too. Why? Well, you guessed it because this should be uh, in, the, in the front of the sentence and this should be in the back. It's just that we switched them, okay? So let's switch it back to its original form. I will stay at home if it rains, period. Okay? So notice, I will stay at home if it rains. You see the, the sentences have, the, 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 the order of the sentences have changed. This part is now in the back, and this part is now in the beginning. Well, you might ask, well, what happened to tomorrow? What happened to tomorrow? Well, now you can decide where to put it. Okay, you can say you could put it right here. Okay, you put it right here. Oops, that's not tomorrow, right? That's a huge tomorrow. I will stay at home tomorrow if it rains. Okay, or you could put it. right here, just as good. I will stay at home if it rains tomorrow, okay? It's the same, there's no difference, all right? So uh, remember, the time word can, uh, you can deal with it later, okay? Um, because it is movable, you can take it and then move it somewhere else if you want to, okay? All right. Okay, let's continue to the next example. If it rains tomorrow, I can stay at home. Notice, we, uh, the first one we use the word will in the main clause. And in this, in this example, we're gonna say, use the word can, which you can do. Right. If it rains tomorrow, I can stay at home and watch TV. Right? Yes, again, tomorrow can first go away, and then I can uh, put it back later, okay? After I switch the order of the sentence, because I want to get rid of the comma, all right? So I have to put this part first, and then this part last. Here we go. I can stay at home and watch TV if it rains, period. So I can stay at home and watch TV if it rains, okay? Notice the comma is gone. There is no comma in this sentence anymore because I uh, moved the sentence back to its uh, original order, okay? Uh, and now I can put back the word tomorrow. Where do I want to put it? Uh, let's say uh, here. Okay. I can stay at home and watch TV tomorrow if it rains. Or if I don't like that, I'll put it here. I can stay at home and watch TV if it rains tomorrow. It doesn't matter. It's exactly the same. Okay. Me, personally, I like it here better. I like it here better. Oh, what happened to it? I like it here better. Here, right? Personally, I like this better. I can stay at home and watch TV tomorrow 
if it rains. I like that better, but you don't have to do that if you don't want to, okay? Okay. Notice we talked about wheel, right, in the main clause. You can say, use the can verb in the main clause, or you can use the tisuji, the command in the main clause, right? If it rains later, stay at home. If it rains later, don't go out. Those are commands, right? So there's no will, there's no can, it's just a command, okay? So, in other words, okay, stay at home if it rains later, period. And in this sentence, don't go out if it rains later, period. Now, you might be asking, can I move the, the word later to a different place? Yes, you can. You can do this. Stay at home later if it rains. Although the meaning is a little bit different, there's a subtle little bit of a change in meaning, but uh, grammatically, it is correct. It is a perfect sentence, okay? Right? Or I can put it, same thing here, right? I can put this later here. Don't go out later if it rains. It's the same meaning, okay? All right, uh, I think that's enough. We might, um, we have a few more uh, uh, examples which we will do um later <laughs> um when we meet online okay All right so thanks for watching please like and subscribe i've been daniel and um i'll see you soon